Hey guys, this is Mark coming to you from Thor. Uh, today we're going to be showing you the new IRD firmware and splash screens and how to set it up pretty quickly. Um, the model I'm going to be showing you is here on our website. Go to RFD coders and it's this model right here. It's been slightly revamped. As you can see, we have different modulation standards. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the ATSC model. And as you can see on the back, uh, RF in, loop out, data for your IP output, NMS is for your network management, that's the firmware, ASI inputs and outputs, SDI, CVBS, HDMI, all simultaneous outputs, uh, the audio here you see up top, those are for your breakout cables, um, and again, the front of the unit, slightly different, um, you do have the inputs here, the buttons for directional input if you do want to set it up that way through the front panel. Uh, and again, this model can do various things, uh, depending on which one you get, all the RF standards, ATSC, DVBS2, QAM. Again, they do IP, decode several things, uh, and you could do even things like IP to ASI or ASI to IP. Uh, it can be used in a variety of different ways. And again, this kind of shows you, you know, the greens are the inputs, reds are the outputs. Uh, so if you do, do something like an RF input, it will decode output to SDI, CVBS, and HDMI simultaneously. There's some other drawings you guys can take a look at. And again, applications here. This is coming from an 8-channel encoder. ASI is actually over here. I don't know why the green arrow is showing there, but it's over here. And then you can output to SDI, CVBS, HDMI. Okay, all the models and everything else you can take a look at. So we're going to go to the model itself, uh, 192.168.0.136. Pretty standard splash screen. We're going to go to the tuner here. Um, and we're going to be looking for a frequency we can use. So here in Los Angeles, we're in the suburbs a little bit. Um, I found this website that kind of shows you the breakdown of different channels. So the display channel obviously is what's going to show up on your TV, but the digital channel is actually what we're looking for. So as you can see, these broadcast stations actually send out the signal um, differently than it's actually showing on your TV. So we're going to go with KTLA, which is a Los Angeles station for the CW, uh, which shows the Lib Golf and John Rom just signed up, so we're going to go ahead and highlight them today. So as you can see, it's going to show up on your TV as 5, but the actual channel is 35. Well, if you're not aware, you can always pull up your ATSC off-air sheet, and channel 35 correlates to frequency 599. Okay? So that's frequency 599. So we're going to go back here. We're going to put in 599. We're going to give that a second to start reading. Should get a lock. Quality looks really good. I think the minimum quality you're going to want to see is about 30, 35%. I'm not positive on that, but you're going to want a pretty good quality so the IRD can do the function uh, that it needs to do. All right, so the next thing we're going to go is the settings. And again, this model has been revamped a little bit, so it has a lot of different functionality. I'm not going to go through everything in here. I'll just show you all the little key menus. Uh, but there's a lot of different stuff you can do with this model. So we're going to go to the tuner here, and you can see that it's already getting about 19 megs from the RF. So you're going to parse that. And what you're going to want to do is wait for the little arrow to show up, a uh, little box next to the arrow. So it's going to read all the data that's coming in through all the programs. Because, again, it's just one channel, but it looked that it had about four to five different programs on that one channel, on that one RF. So we have to wait for this to kind of read, do its job. Oh, there it goes. So see this little box that popped up? And these are all the channels that it found, all the programs within frequency 599. And we're going to send that over here. 
We're going to hit other because it's not cam or bis. It's just going to be other since it's RF. And now you have a box over here. And these are all the channels that found all the programs inside the channel. Okay. Now we're going to go here. Again, much more um, different options. Video format. You can change the brightness, the program. Stereo, you can change it to Spanish in here. Uh, AC3 pass through. Uh, and it also has closed captions here, which could be important for some of you. Now we're going to go to the output. Again, more options, packet mode. I'm going to show you guys the SPTS since that's probably what some of you are going to use. Uh, many of you are going to use multicast depending on your application. So you're going to go here since these are the channels that found. Antenna, Grit TV. We'll put in this one. Hit apply. And all these immediately turn green. And what you're going to see is you're going to see the data rates fluctuate a little bit. It's going to get a good lock on, on these. It looks like everything's working just fine. So it's going to fluctuate depending on what the actual broadcaster is putting on those programs. Again, some of these might be 480 standard def. Uh, the bigger channels, the main channels are going to be probably high def. So you see it's broadcasting in a much greater depth there. Double check everything. Now you got the decoder status is green. Okay. And to show you guys what it's actually doing, I'm going to pull up a VLC player. Open the network stream. I believe the first one was 3002. And I'm going to take the RJ45 port out of the NMS and plug it into the data port on the back of the IRD. And it should start playing. The truck swerved and hit me and my wife. Right the away. Truck was driving way too fast. There you go. I'm so sorry to hear that. Either of you hurt? I'm a little scratched. And that's up, how quickly you can convert RF surgery. to IP. Can you meet us at the hospital? Of course. Just to show you guys. The Law Brothers were amazing. What they else were was there on every step of the way and got us 2.25 million that dollars. Frequency. We'll be see. I don't know. I think this is a mistake. We're just here to look at guns. At least we don't have to buy one. And it feels like a mistake. We won't. Okay. There's the gun department over here. Uh, well, yeah, well, this, uh, what can I do for you folks today? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Um, um, so we uh, okay. uh, come through that I highlight. I rode three years in a war with Jeff. Okay, so this is great TV. Why? Looks to be some old kind of Western. Just asking, yeah, that's all. Very low quality. Standard down. Tox report came back. It was uh, right. slightly the better. Drugs, anyway, they found ketamine and oxy in his blood. Well, HD, so they did out. have a couple of issues. Another question is, he took himself or was he? So, if we go Even back and take a look, himself, it still doesn't make sense. Yeah, this so shooting it was, was eight premeditated. Eight mags, one, 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 and six. Yeah, so so those were your two HD channels. The first and last one. Yeah, I agree. Either green or. As far as the rest of the menu is very standard. Somebody said. Uh, you can go here. Let me pull out the data. Put it back in the NMS. And that's how quickly it'll start up again. Again, you can set up your NMS and data here, your password, configuration, restore, factory, set back up, load. And again, you're going to want to save the main configuration file each time you make any changes. That's very important. Save config. So the next time, suppose a power goes out or you have to turn off the device for any reason. If you don't hit save config here, uh, the device will go back to default settings. So it'll be like a factory reset. Okay. Well, that's everything for me today. Uh, if you guys have any questions, give us a call. 1-800-521-8467. ThorBroadcast.com. Uh, and thanks for checking out today's video.